Hey guys, guess where I am now? Do you think I'm in Rome? So this building behind me is the first amphitheater that was built. If you want to know more about this, find out and follow this channel. And uh, follow me if you want to know more about this uh, Maison de Cap. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel again. One of the reasons for visiting the city in the Roman era is that it allows us to think beyond our today's life. Like, oh wow, how beautiful, how awful the lifetime was. And yes, I'm quite optimistic that there are many positive aspects that we all can learn from the past. Don't you think that today's life is better than the life in the past? In this video, I will show you some interesting historical sites so that you can get the insight into the histories of life in the past. To begin with, I'll take you from seeing the historical sites in the Roman times to the bone of Christianity. The city of Nîmes brings us back to the 6th century before the Christ was born. The tribe of Celtics for Cai Arocomisi were nearly everywhere in Europe before the Roman conquest and the Middle Age period came. This tribe settled and built a sanctuary from creating crotals for their own settlers to replacing them with dry stone buildings just like the one you guys watched in my previous video of Les Beaux de Provence. So let's get started. First is the Temple of Diana. It lies at the site of Jardin de la Fontaine. This romantic temple before it ruined was the Roman Temple of Diana, the goddess of the moon. The story said that it was built in the 2nd century. It is composed of a main room, the cella, which has a barrel fold and is flanked by two side corridors. Unfortunately, the function of it was not recorded at all until it was destroyed in 1577 in the, in the course of religious wars. A question, do you think that this temple of Diana used seamen uh, to incorporate these stones? Put your answer in the comment section. Now, let's jump to the second one, which is Jardin de la Fontaine, a public garden of 15 hectare or 150,000 square meter was abandoned uh, after the Roman times and during the Middle Ages. This garden was then discovered when people lived in the Middle Ages, working on how to manage uh, the flow, the flow of uh, spring. You know that during the Roman Empire, people built the uh, aqueduct um, and get the water from Pont du Gard uh, to flow into Nîmes to serve the population and to the bath. In this Jardin de la Fontaine, you will find statues, vases and varieties of trees and plants that beautify the look. It is deemed as the first public garden and one of the largest gardens in Europe in the 16th century. Not far from the Jardin de la Fontaine, you can come up to the hill and uh, to see the Great Tower or La Tour Man. It is an exceptional monument constructed on the top hill around the spring during the Emperor Augustus, so more than 2,000 years ago. This tower offered a great panoramic view over the city. It was not recommended what it was for, but after the Roman times, it was used as a guardhouse during the war. Again, guys, I'm sorry to show you that I take this off because talking with the mask is not very convenient. And uh, I realized that wearing mask in here, in this city called Nîmes, is compulsory. Otherwise, people will get fined 135 euros. That's a lot. Well, I'm now in front of this Maison Carré, and this was constructed during the uh, Roman era. And uh, it shows how rich that time was. And uh, follow me if you want to know more about this uh, Maison de Carré. 
The initiation of building this Maison Carré was inspired by the temple of Apollo and Mars Autor in Rome. It is 26 meters long by 15 meters wide and 15 meters high. The very unique one that I found was that the way it's built without using cement. Again guys, what I understand is that the stones are polymanent stones which are easily to break. But this one, oh wow. Amazing, isn't it? It was built in the Emperor Augustus and used as a place to launch a special cultural event such as the gladiatorial souls at that time to serve as an expression of public authority and the likes. The columns are well preserved as you can see here. Ceiling of the pronounced or entrance to the temple here dates from the early 19th century. and the current door was constructed in 1824. The Maison Carré owes its exceptional level of preservation to the fact that it was constantly in use from the 11th century. After the French revolutions, it became the headquarters for the first prefecture of the Gat region and was then transformed into department archives. As I went to the building, there was a projector screen and then the film showed the beginning of memes and also the construction of Maison Gare. Making a video was 100% restricted guys, so I had to obey it. So guys, do you think I'm in Rome, Italy? No, I'm not in Rome at all. This today I'm in a city called Nîmes, in the southern part of France. And behind me, it is not, you know, what you see in Rome. It is a fast amphitheater or the arena that was built about in the first century. And it used to be, you know, used by the, uh, the, the king of Augustus and yeah, a lot of shows behind this or inside this amphitheater or the arena. If you want to know more about this, find out and follow this channel. These arenas can accommodate more than 23,000 spectators watching the combats between the gladiator and animals at that time. The seats were of course classified based on the spectator's social status. Oh, life was tough, huh? Today, this amphitheater forms a fine venue for many occasions, bullfights, congresses, concerts and sport events. Well, the romanizations of Nîmes began in the 1st century and there were many monuments were constructed thanks to the Emperor Augustus and his successors who made a town for the promotion of Romanity in Gaul. Then the Christianity came as you can see the number of churches built. One of them is San Budil Church built in 1877. Okay guys, I hope that you like this video. If so, don't forget to like, subscribe and share with your friends. Comments and feedback are highly appreciated. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.